Hey guys, so for this next video, I want to walk through the general interface of the pregnancy section of the Mama HUD. If we pop back here, this is the body section, which we've already gone over in other videos. But if we click here, this is the interface for the pregnancy. And in this video, I'm just going to go generally through these buttons and not get too specific. In other videos, I'll go through them in more detail to make that even more clear for you. So this button right here, the uh, fetus icon is actually very important. It gives you information about yourself and it will give you information about your fetus. So right now I am not pregnant. The reason I know that is not only is my belly flat, but if you look down here, I, none of these icons are white. They're all dark. So nothing is lit up. So I am, I am not pregnant. So it says here, my mood boost is 0%. Mood boost is down here. Mood boost is zero because I haven't eaten today or had any drinks or had any rest. And we'll talk about that in a minute. It also says my fertility is at 25% and that's very low. And the reason it says that is because I am now in day four of my pregnancy cycle. There are, are essentially four days of your cycle and it repeats every four days. If you really are trying to get pregnant, you really want to try between day two and three because that's where your um, fertility will be the highest. The other thing too is if you take care of yourself and you have food and drinks and rest every day, your fertility percent can increase by 20%. So if your moods are high, your fertility will go higher. But if you really want to try to get pregnant, I would recommend you try between day two and day three. The next thing again from the uh, fetus icon is it says two eggs. And what that means is that I actually have two eggs stored. So if I leave Second Life for a year and come back, the database will still know I had two eggs. And the place where I can buy my eggs is here in the pregnancy store. So I can also buy a pregnancy test. I can buy a paternity test. I can buy insemination. Remember, insemination does not make him my partner. It means science is my partner. If I want this particular avatar to be the father of the baby, I would not use insemination. I can also buy uh, myself drinks and food and a pillow. I can buy an exercise mat. The exercise mat is not available until after I give birth. And like I said before, I can also buy eggs and these eggs are stored for me. I can also contact clinics. During the time this video is being made, the clinics uh, are not set up yet. I'm going to have a place on my SIM where people can teleport to to pick out their clinic. And so that's the pregnancy store and that you can access that by clicking this button here. So the other thing, so I'll close this. It says you can use a love quest to start a baby. That's this button here. If I press love quest, let me say, okay. I can actually select the person near me and then ask them a love quest. We're not going to go through this right now, but it's basically asking them general questions. If they'll give me a kiss or if they love me or if they want to have a baby with me. The other thing I can do is I can click on share experience. What this does is it gives somebody else a partner HUD. It, we call it a share experience HUD because you may not want to share this experience with your mate. You may want to ex share this experience with a friend or a relative. And when they get the shared experience HUD, what they're getting is a partner HUD where they can see information about you. So they can see where your fertility is at. They can see uh, how far along you are in your pregnancy. They can also see your moods. And the other thing they can do with their HUD, which we'll go into later, is they can actually buy you things. They have access to the same pregnancy store. So they can buy you a pregnancy test. They can buy you a paternity test. They can buy you eggs. They can buy these things for you from their HUD. So clicking this button adds them. Now, let's say that um, you do not want them to have access to your data. Let's say that you were with them in a relationship and they have this HUD, but you want to remove them. So if you see here, I had added him earlier, not in this video, but earlier, but I can remove him. 
So I'm going to remove. And this means that although he still has that HUD, he doesn't have access to me. So, which is actually really great. You don't have to have people, you don't have to have people have access to you that you don't want. Genetics, we're going to go through in another video. Pregnancy stages, these highlight to white depending on the stage you're in. There are nine stages. Again, you can be pregnant for nine days or nine weeks or nine months. And each, as time goes on, they highlight. So if you're in stage three, then this becomes white. Birth control, if you turn this on and you do love quests, you never get pregnant. Mood booster, this basically just shows you how, if you're, where your hunger is at, your thirst is at, how far along you are, and shows your general mood. So that's it. That's the interface. There's nothing else. And I will come back and do another video that shows more detailed information about these things. All right, guys. Thanks.